out there in YouTube land. Joe was the first one in here. Joe is on a roll. Joe, we're glad you're back at 100% or at least near 100%. And then we got Stacy. And we got Stacy and we got Joe. We got Lee and we got Joe. We got Stacy. We got Joe. We got Lee. Stacy works on her tax stuff and a crochet piece. And I'm donating as a raffle prize. You know, maybe you could take a tax deduction if you give that out. <laughs> okay, Joe, certainly. <laughs> Stacy, Joe, Stacy, Joe, Stacy. And then we got Wanda in the house, and we got Joe and Stacy, and Denise is in the house. And Wanda says she was here before Joe, but was afraid of the dark. <laughs> so came back after I saw people. You're too funny, Wanda. All right, Cindy Bennett's in the house. Joe, Marion's in the house over on the tubes. And Wanda's back in there. Now I can't see the type. He made the screen black. <laughs> it's all my fault. And Shell is here, bringing in the Kansas world. And yes, Joe is much better, Marion. Thank goodness. All right. So we're going to do a couple fun things to start off the hour, or the whatever number of hours I need till 8 o'clock, which is probably just a couple, and show you some things we've been working on. Carrie, what color did I make it? Oh, is that was uh, Kendo Brown and Mermaid Pink. So this, the, yeah, the glitter. This is Mermaid Pink. Looks like a dark coral or something like that. And then... This is Kendo Brown. Everybody gets an idea what brown is. And then there is brown glitter. So let's get us a little cup here. And we're going to use this new resin here. It's a UV resin. And we're going to pour us some in here. How much did we have last time? Remember, babes? Well, we'll use... We'll go with that much right there. Because I think that'll be about four or more. Then we put the lid back on. It's in a black container because sunlight will cure it up. And the cool thing is there's no A and B. It simply is um, cured by ultraviolet light. So we'll take a little bit of this here, put that in there. Just like when you get your nails done. You got that yeah, resin man. on your nails and cures up with the ultraviolet light. Hello, Amelia. Okay. And there's some of that there that makes the, the kendo brown mixed with the the mermaid pink. That's these two guys right here. And then a little bit of glitter. And it doesn't take much. It literally is that much. Can everybody see that okay, Lee? Is, I'm not blocking anything. I believe so. Yeah, it should look good there. Then we put these away over here. And then we stir this up. And this is a much thicker resin. Wanda says, you're going to make yourself glow in the dark? <laughs> yes, ma'am. I want to glow in the dark so Carrie can find me when she's sleeping. And hello, Amelia. Hello, Amelia. And as I said... Luna is in the Discord streaming in Discord for us. Nice. So if you prefer to watch it in there, you can. Now, earlier today, I was pouring this stuff out, but I found this, this resin syringe that I've had for a while but forgot about. And I'm going to fill... Oops, got to... Plug the bottom of it there because it wants to run right out. And then we will fill that up there. Put our plunger in. And of course I have overfilled it. So we will get it down here by these little, little guys with their pinchers. Hello Mia and Cindy in Discord. Hello Mia and Cindy. At first, I'm going, what the hell are you doing? And then it dawned on me. You're doing the crabs. Yeah, these are the crabs. 
let them sit for a little bit. And I have learned I need this little resin syringe here so that I can get all the extraneous parts included in the deal. My head's not blocking, is it? Nope. Okay, good. I, mean, I know it's a fabulous head, but, you know, you really want to see the, the crabs. I don't know if you heard that or not, Tim. She asked, uh, they asked if, uh, if the UV resin has a, does it have a smell? Does it smell strong? It does have a smell. It's not strong. It's also not um, hazardous. It's not one of those volatile organic compounds you have to worry about in other resins. Okay, that's about there. Then we take the plunger out again, pour okay. some more in, put my finger over the bottom. Are you not hearing Discord, Tim? I am not hearing Discord, but I may okay. have my settings wrong. Hang on just a second. Let me get over here to the Discord here because I don't have my headphones on, so it may think I still want my headphones on. Voice and video, default speaker. Oh, there you go. There's the crowd. Okay. Because Melanie, I, I realized that because Melanie had made the comment that you didn't have a mask or gloves on, so she was kind of curious. And when you didn't answer and you kept talking, I went, ah, he can't hear Discord. Yeah. Thanks, got, got You're you welcome. Now. Hello, Angie. That's part of what I'm here for, you know. That's why I'm the co-host. So can you hear me now, Tim? I can hear you now. Okay. I'm curious because usually when people work, you know, with resin, they at least at the minimum have uh, gloves on or, you know, a mask. So I was just wondering. So you're including me in the group of people? No, because you're not wondering any of that. <laughs> you said normally people do, so. Yeah, so I was wondering, like. Now they say it's they say it's non toxic. Yeah, they mainly say don't eat it. What's that? And if you have good ventilation, right, Tim? Yeah, I got air blowing, got a fan circulating, all that good stuff. But there's yeah. no, there's no uh, volatile organic compounds that you have to worry about. It's not toxic. Okay. okay, so I can save this for later. So we will put this right over here. And then we got this little UV kind of dealio here. So we'll put them in there. With the UV resin, how long does it take for them to cure? You know, about five minutes. Well, I guess it would depend on the strength of your UV light too, right? Oops. I don't know. I'm. This is my first day, or yesterday was the first day, playing with this stuff. What strength is your UV light? Right there. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, they all have different strengths. So depending on the strength of, you know, like if you're doing like nails or something, like depending on the strength of your light, it depends on how long you have to be under the light. Yeah, and this just says this needs to be in there from three to four minutes. So I don't know how strong that is. I don't know what the requirements are. This is a pretty simple... Um, this is a do at home kind of kit. You know, it's the, the let's resin crowd and the let's resin crowd is the, you know, play at home, do resin kind of stuff uh, more than it is a massive industrial type of product. So I'd assume that they made this stuff pretty safe. And that thing will sit in there for about five minutes. I'm going to hit the reset the timer and start it. You could have been in there about a minute already. But this. I just got the same light and opened it today. 
and I found that it, it doesn't go as long. So you might need to leave it in or run it again. Well, it's got a switch on the top that says two minutes, three minutes, five minutes. Yeah. And I put it on the first time, and it only went three minutes, even though it says to hit the button three times to get five minutes. So I don't know how oh. I don't know how well I know how to press that button correctly. It could be you have to press it real fast, or you, but I, I just do one, two, oh, yeah. three. Wow, this thing cheers on both sides at the same time. Yeah, pretty cool. Now, you read the instruction booklet. That's terrible. It is absolutely terrible. Clinton Hall says, hey, Tim. Hello, Clinton. That's my leather guy. He's the saddle builder down in Yukon. Yep. But the, um, but yeah, I, I know probably about as much as you do about this whole UV resin thing now. Um, I know that it worked yesterday and we farted around with it this morning, did it even better than yesterday. So overall, I'm you know impressed with the product. I'm sure this is not will this not will be the or this will not be the final UV light oven. It's like an easy bake oven, right? Sort of low end, yeah. small kind of thing. Kind of is, yeah. 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 But I mean, but if you use that but, stronger one, then but, the UV doesn't cure properly or get too hot and it shrinks. Right. So this is pretty, pretty uh, foolproof. Um, is it production ready? Yeah, it might be. I mean, you could small line of production kind of thing to make it go. But this is not something that you're going to produce a thousand a day out of. Mm -mm. This is something you'll do 50 a day or maybe 30 a day. But it's sort of fun. And we Clinton bought the molds on, on uh, Amazon. Clinton says, see you in the morning for class. Oh, yeah, baby. Can't wait. Can't wait. I'm so right it. now we're at 222. So I think I at least hit the three-minute button. We'll see when this thing goes off. Denise says, anyone planning on getting the crabs? And, of course, me being sarcastic was thinking, no, I do my best to avoid them. But in this case, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I was thinking the same. What's that? I was thinking the exact same. Oh, yeah. you. When when Carrie came on and says, I, got, I walked into the living room and said, I got crabs. And she looked at me sort of funny and then thought, oh, yeah, we were making crabs. That's right. Yeah, and someone told me, like, hey, be careful. Don't, you know, what say that. <laughs> Dakota tray? Or? What's that? Is that sort of like a Dakota tray? Um, no, these are just, these particular ones here are just cover minders. Oh, so, so if you, the Everest, the Everest canvas on the bottom left has a crab. So this oh, is to. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, so. Yeah. So yeah, if you're doing yeah, yeah. the Everest and you get the pen and the tray mm -hmm. and you're doing the canvas, you got to have a crab. So little crab wow. guy in the bottom. Now, I would like to have figured out to have a bladder crab, less three-dimensional or a little baby boss relief kind of thing. So I could put it in the bottom of the, okay, that was 348. So that was probably about a five-minute deal. We're going to put it on. For a couple more there, just let it go, make sure it's all done. But I wanted to put one of those crabs in the bottom of the tray we we're making for Dakota or for the Everest. I thought that would look cool. But it's too fat. Yeah. It's too fat. And what we're going to do with this today is, is once we're done with this thing over here, we're going to make a couple of Dakota trays. And there, the, there are a few more crabs left. We did four this morning. So there are a few more left, and they're posted and listed already on the website. Um, it's How much are they? $10. $10. So, I mean, Do we put a magnet on them yet? No, I have to order the smaller magnet. Excuse me? Say it again for me. Put in tomorrow for my special food? Yep. You could order it up. Got enough. Yeah. It, well, it will not be done. She it, knows that, Carrie. Yeah. I already went over with her today. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. She, her expectations are set correctly. 
what he's saying is you don't want to miss out on the crab. Yeah. Yeah, Carrie's like, oh, crap. We're so busy. I said, don't worry. I went over with it. She's good. Okay. She understands what's going on. No, it'll be long before then, but but yeah, it won't be tomorrow. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'm. Carrie's like, oh crap. I'm like, oh crap. She already feels bad enough. Give me all I got to do now. Oh crap, the crap. So it's like, oh. Yeah, I have a okay, so we got this um, one here. that I have received that I'll be processing tomorrow and reaching out to those people that sent them. They sent them at the beginning of the month, but you know, my foot wasn't 100, percent so I wasn't ready to stand out here. But I can stand out here a little long, a little bit longer, and then get all the orders together and tell people, okay, here's your blanks and blah blah blah. And so those have to be done, and plus the people that already paid for orders that are waiting to be done. Yeah, but we'll get to it. And then it does say when you take these little these little molds out of the ultraviolet light to not do anything with them for a while because they're hot. So I didn't notice they were so hot as we've been doing them, but I'm just listening. And they do say they're a little bit tacky. So if you take them out too early, you end up with fingerprints on them. So I thought, okay, we'll just wait. Joe, Joe Atwood is asking, can you add one to a current order? No, that's already been paid for, so I can put it. I can ship it with it, but she'd have you just to, have to order it, and, it. and Carrie will include it when we ship it. That's yeah, all. That's fine. So the answer is yes. She's got to figure it out. Yeah, just she's already paid for order. Just order yeah. it up. It's just order one, Joe, and then she'll toss it in your bag. Yeah. Have we gotten to Joe's pens yet? They're close. They're close. <laughs> They're coming. She is on. She's feeling great too. She's nearly a hundred percent, which is very exciting. She said, "Oh wait, I forgot. I already paid for my current order." Yeah. She's up. She's up next. No, Abigail. Oh, Wendy, Abigail. So we'll get yours tonight, Joe. We'll get your stuff turned tonight because we got Wendy right now. She's on the on the lathe, and then we've got Abigail next, and then we've got Joe. Joe, Joe. Yeah, and Joe's feeling a lot better. Yay! Which is good. Everybody's very happy. Tammy's not doing so well though. She's feeling sort of pained today. Hopefully, she gets a nap and get some good drugs. That could be. Yep. Absolutely. Most definitely the weather, because yesterday I was not feeling well in the afternoon at all. So they're not going to hear you very well unless you got a microphone, because I'm standing over here. So. There you go. Well, I have to stand somewhere. I was about to unless, say something, but unless you're standing right next to me, because I'm got a mic on now. She's yeah. got a mic on now. Well, I didn't have a mic on before. I'm not saying they couldn't hear you. I'm just saying if they want to hear you fully, fully and I clear. walk away, then they won't hear you. Fully clear. Because I might just walk away any moment. Now, yeah, yesterday I was not feeling well at all. I don't know what was in the weather. I didn't go out yesterday. Well, no, we did. Was it yesterday? No, I didn't go out yesterday. So I don't know what the deal was, but I was not. Not feeling no. all kinds of pain everywhere. Joe says, Joe's wow, I have to stay up. <laughs> Candace Vernet says, hi, everyone. Yeah. And then Joe says, oh, oh, Carrie, feel better. Oh, I'm better now. I got a good night's sleep. So sleep will help you. That's what blows I me away how those are all done now. <laughs> you, you can do pens like that. <laughs> That would be cool if you could do a pen like that. I'm not sure how well it would turn. That's the problem. Uh, well. Now, as soon as those are done, we'll make some more with the rest of this goop here. So I'm going to move that out of it the way a little hard. bit. And I'm going to now make, I got to make 150 for this. This will not get hard, not till the sunshine hits it. It's weird. That's it's not like weird. this other stuff we're playing with. Mm. Okay, so we're going to need to make, oh, about 250. And then tomorrow, I believe, I think maybe I'm sure everybody wants to watch. I'm doing a Pegasus collection pen that's a Dakota piece, but we got a lot of response that a lot of people are doing that. One twenty. So um, we're gonna make a pen for that. I got an idea, and I think it'll be really gorgeous. So, and I got a different gold that might be a perfect match. She got an idea. I got an ideas. So um, that's what we're gonna do. 
So. And Joe I, says, there you are, Carrie, and easy to hear now. Yeah, I have a microphone. There you Isn't go. That That's what I said. They Woo. can hear you, but just not fantastically. Woo. I can hear her fine. That's yeah. good. Well, yeah, she's got a microphone now. I was sharing Tim's mic before, but he moved. And then yeah, I, if I'm moving around and she's not right next to me, then you guys won't yeah. hear her and you need to hear her. So, yeah, you, now and here. hello, um, Amelia in Discord. Hello, Amelia. hello Amelia. Welcome on in. So, on Wednesday, there will be a pen drop live because you saw my big bucket. Tim Wednesday. has organized Wednesday, it. Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. And Tim said, oh, are you going to do it on your shipping station? I'm like, well, no, I've got this big, bright esthetician lamp in my craft room now for lives. So I have a template that Tim made me where I can lay out nine blanks at a time and everyone will be able to claim them. It will be like, okay, this is group A and they'll be labeled one through nine and then no discord claiming. It will be just like when we do the colors with Lee, it will be like, a1 i want a2 and the first one to claim it i'll call out and say claimed by so and so so it'll be a lot of fun a good way for you to see these beautiful blanks i have because it would take me forever and a year to get them all up there so this is a fast way to move th through some beautiful blanks that we have for you guys to have them so and you can get by multiple if you'd like no. oh what am i doing stirring this by hand i gotta get my my cocoon blanks stirring Ooh. stick out. Wanda, Wanda says, can't wait to see what you come up with uh, since I'm doing that canvas. Pegasus? Oh, good. Yes, definitely. You def definitely. I think we're going to mix that up tonight and throw down a set of goodies. Yeah, so we'll take pictures. So look in the Facebook group. I'll probably post it. Also, breakfast at Tiffany's. If you were interested in that, we have available blanks. You can go to the listing. Um, just type in breakfast at Tiffany is in the search. That's the easiest way to find it. And we have a few of those available now. Um, a couple of people have already bought them that were interested. And so I have about seven or eight left. So there's a bunch left. So I'll be posting it. So since you're here, run now before I post it to 879 people. So Candace, run. Candace, run wants, Candace wants to know, are you doing that in the evening on Wednesday? Yes, I was getting to that. Thank good good question. Thank you, Lee, for revealing that. Um, it is at 6 p.m. Central. So that would be 7 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Mountain, 4 p.m. Pacific. And I don't know over there and across the pond. So just add six for most of Europe. Okay. So it'll be midnight, but There'll be a lot. You can watch the replay. If something didn't get sold, you can claim it that way and let me know. Just do a screenshot and let me know which one it was or just say, hey, it was A7. Um, so be easier for replaying as well. If something doesn't go um, in that group, then we got some really wild stuff. So and yeah. some older stuff um, <laughs> we got a, a while ago um, as well. There's a post also in Facebook. I think it was... Shayla Kelligan, she got a blank and she posted her blank and um, somebody named Steph or Stephanie was interested and I am able to get them, but there's a two to three week remake wait from the caster that made them. So I can get that uh, Sherbert looking one. It's the one that looks like a Florida orange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I so am. Bill can remake those? Yes, he can. Nice. So he's going to remake them, but he says I got to get in line. So I'm totally fine. <laughs> By the time he gets to making them, get that's, line, about, that's about the time that we'll be able to um, have them here and able to purchase them. But I get am in able line, to, people. Get in line. It's always get in line. Mia um, says Mia says that's going to be 11 p.m. CET, which is where she is. I figured she'd time. know. Yeah. Yep. Know. Well, we're not Eastern. It's actually if it's CET, it's going to be six hours after, so it'll be midnight. Yep, it'll be midnight. We are not Eastern time here in Oklahoma. We are Central. I so. think you're you're six hours ahead of Central, right, Mia? It should be six hours ahead. I could be wrong yeah. with my well, daylight savings. Don't forget time. their time change isn't until sun the next Sunday. They haven't no. done their time change yet. Oh, that's right. Yeah, okay. it could be all jacked up now. Lovely. 
Okay. Gotcha. Well, yeah, we are central time. Yeah, so it's midnight here. Okay. Yeah, there you go. And most people know where they, but I just say it for some people don't know, you know, between Eastern Mountain and they miss something and I don't want anyone to miss. So I sort of laid out the America time zones. As those yeah. I can do. I just. I was just sure. I was like, and I'm pretty, I'm trying to keep up because right now we have the time change uh -huh. and, we have it, and I'm so confused. Uh, no, yeah, me too. Us too. I'm not used to it. I have to think. <laughs> Because we used to live. And we here. live here. Oh, I don't have to change time. I know. Yep, don't even I'm telling you, Arizona's yeah. freaking smart. Yeah, they're great. Yep. But we Amelia, used to live on the East Coast. And we used to Amelia live in Amelia says she wouldn't be able to do Wednesday. Okay. Okay. Well, there's a replay. Yep. It's, it's yep, a lot. Yep, exactly. It's a lie. But not all of them go. So, you know. We'll post the yeah, link in there. Everyone always forgets Alaska. Oh. Alaska is the perfect time. They're three hours behind us. Is that Pacific? Isn't it Pacific? No, it's Alaska time. Well, what's that? It's one hour behind Pacific. And what is it? Pacific? Pacific's two behind us. No, it's Alaska time. Which is what? Oh, it's Alaska time. For Eastern Standard Time, they're three hours behind us. Uh, Pacific is three hours behind us. Yeah, Correct. that I know. They're an hour behind. So they're That's really right. Pacific's two hours because Mountain Cat is an hour for y'all. So, yeah, that I know, but I'm just trying to figure out. So, no matter what. You can go to this really cool website called World Clock Converter. Just type in a location, select a time, and you know exactly what time it is there. Yep. That's what I do when I deal with my German dudes all the time. Forgot what time it is over <laughs> there. Know. He's on the, on the phone all the time. With yes, yes ma'am. Mm -hmm. Till we jump into this thing here for a while, then we'll be seven again when you guys change. Yeah. Yeah. No. I have. As I'm doing my lives, and you even. Um, we get back into winter time before you guys. Do, yes, but we go into summer time three weeks. Later. It's just weird. It's just weird. Strange. Stacey yes, Stacy Hardy. Stacy Hardy says I have one of those using it right now. The Florida Orange. Excellent. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I knew there was somebody else that got it's that, that one. Is sort of orange on one side, light green on the other, right? Yep. Yeah. Shayla got it, and Stacy got it. And they both posted it, and uh, new people are coming in all the time, and they see your beautiful blanks, and they're like, I want that. And sometimes it's a, I get it from a caster, and I deal with mostly two casters, and sometimes I have a few left over, or I buy a few, and they just happen to sometimes not go as fast, and sometimes someone posts it and gets it, and everybody wants it. It's better turned. You can't envision it because you can't see the whole blank. Yeah, yeah. Lee's our poster child for that one. You can't Not believe it. Not being able yeah, it's hard. That's why it's I'm going to be able on the live that I do, I can flip all sides. And I mean, I could do a turn on it, but the, the video the, doesn't. So the update. blanks are great. They're just, the, you know, like Lee says, the. What's hidden on the inside, Lee? The caterpillar or the moth? Yeah, or the, 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 <laughs> what the heck is no, it? it's the cocoon hides the butterfly. There you go. That's what it is. Yep. Butterfly. Yep. And sometimes there's other sides that you guys can't see if I post just a 2D picture and I don't get the other side. I could, I sometimes try to take pictures of each side, but if I did that for all the blanks that I have, you would never get any blanks. <laughs> so, yeah, very much. Yeah, it's a lot. So I just thought, well, so everybody hasn't seen me in a live. So I did one, and I had uh, drills that were not cooperating. Didn't any of these get glitter? Icicle here. Didn't you lay them no. out? Yeah, they're out, but I mean, there's no glitter. Wanda, no. Okay. No. Wanda, we're good. Wanda says, right now I'm using a metal cobalt pen. I chain pens around due to they all seem to hurt my thumb when I use them too long. Mm. What was that? I didn't hear that. Something hurts the thumb. Yeah, would she she is she changes pens around due to the fact that they all seem to hurt her thumb when she uses them too long. Her pen. Why why is your is your thumb is your is thumb resting big? against something that hurts it or is it the ang what what hurts on the thumb where you're touching the pen or one of your joints? 
Okay, we're getting thicker now. I think I hold them too tight, but I'm a hard that, presser. That could be. It's a baseball bat end. That's what I was just going to say. What pen... Ever since I've been using this pen, it started going away. There See? You go. It never hurts anymore. Yes. And there's some that are too thick or, you know, it has a CA finish and it's heavy. So it starts to hurt your fingers after a while. That's why you should rotate. But the baseball bat, and I can baseball bat with my, most of mine are that way now. I'm converting over when Tim gets a minute and can sneak, I can sneak one in. And, um, or a model, we, for the model, I'll use it for a while and try it out. And the baseball bat and is a game changer. It is a literal game changer. So if you haven't tried it, you definitely want to. What is a baseball? You know how I feel about baseball bats? Yep. There is a video on our YouTube channel under videos and you'll see, um, there's two of them, one for the finger hold measurement and one for um, the tips you want to choose. Watch the tips video. There's three different styles we do. And one is rounded, one is rounded pointy, and one is baseball bat. Tim give us, goes through it in very much detail on the different ones and which one would be best for you, recommendations. So watch that video. It's like two minutes. It's not going to take a long time. And it will show you the differences and how to use it. And as people say here, they love it. And a lot of our set designs that we do for like event pens, we make it baseball bat and people who've never tried it, they order a pen, a blank. I want baseball bat ends. And they've always been like rounded or rounded pointy. So they've switched over because it's so comfortable. You have a place to lay your finger. So your finger won't hurt because you're not trying to hold something. Yeah, you're so. not trying to hold the pen when it slides down. It only slides down so far, and the baseball bat end has a base for you to actually that stops your finger from moving, so you don't have to so you don't have to hold the pen quite so hard. Great example. Um, I, I, Wanda says I had a pen turner make me a thicker one, and I don't use it much at all because it's too thick. Exactly. Mm -hmm. There's a thick one that I like that cuts out in the middle, gives you the base, it gives you the baseball bat ends, and you would never know it's thick unless you look at it the way it feels and weight. Oh yeah, Tim, I switched, I used to be like the super thin pen. It was a 0.46 and a lot of people would say carry size because that's what my size was and Tim had turned pens for me. Well now, I, I'm up to a 0.50 now. Because I can use the baseball bat ends and it doesn't really affect me. So a thicker pen. So the exactly. I had thick pens before with a rounded bottom and it's hard to hold. Yes. But the baseball bat ends, especially with those bases, gives your fingers a place to lay really comfortably. Now when you when you buy a pen and you're buying it online, it's already pre-made, you're getting whatever that turner feels like turning and when you ask what size it is, they'll say it's thick. Um, some will be able to measure. Some don't know when you say a measurement, they go, what's that? And so we decided that, you know, I bought lots of pens. I did research before we started this company and I started buying pens. I bought about five different pens and I, they all were uncomfortable for one reason or another. Too many turns, too thick, too thin, too many bumps, too many, you know, captive ring flying around it wasn't for me and so um then we started thought well what size do they want it thick or thin and what we thought was medium was not what the other person thought was medium it was more thin so then tim said we should have the measure well how do you have a measure and we wrote it out but that was kind of a little confusing so we did a video because i'm a more visual person and i said show me what you mean. And so he showed me and I'm like, we need to do a video of this. This will be a lot easier for people and people will get the right size pen for them. That is why we do that. Joe. So those, I can send you those two videos 
if whoever it is, just send me a Facebook message or message me here. You can also go to the YouTube channel. Go to yep. the playlist called Instructional Videos, and it is right there. Yep, there's two of them right there. And you can have that video yes. forever. And we're going to be adding more and more as we have time, but right, right now. some Just other to catch videos. up on a couple of comments. Okay, go uh, ahead. Wanda said she figured it would help her arthritis, but it seems to hurt it more. Uh, Joe, of course, is is praising the baseball bat ends, much like I do, because I love them myself. Mm -hmm. uh, Denise says the metal may the metal may not be as forgiving as resin pens if you're a hard presser like me. Um, I have in both my hands, really bad. Angle tips thick and heavy. Not heavy, but curved with baseball bats. Denise says the metal is. Denise wants to know if the metal is heavy. Uh, Wanda says the main reason I bought this one was to screw in metal tips, and it had a square tip, which I always wanted to try. Well, I don't like the metal tips at all. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there you go. One, try the DAC thin multi-placer tips. I love them. They, I wish they would come out with an angled thin tip single placer because you won't want to do anything else after that that's a lot less weight the screw in stuff doesn't work as well yet and two, good luck <laughs> With the, and again your mileage may vary yes i but i love the everlasting tips single placer it comes from yeah, australia try that one. and i i like that single placer versus Dax metal single placer, but I do yeah. like I Dax. Like that single placer. I don't like that. I don't really love it. And uh, <laughs> different strokes for different folks. Yep. And, and Angie, I won't do anything else. Everybody's everybody's hands and experience using their hands over their lifetime is so varied and different for every single person that it may take you a while to figure out where your right thing is. But once you figure it out, then you know. And then you got it made. Yep. Angie said she just ordered the Tiffany blank. She's so excited. Nice. <laughs> Emily. I had to put a picture in the general because I don't know what the ends of my pens is called. Hold on. Who ordered the Tiffany? He just said Emily. Oh, Not Angie. Said Angie. Oh, yeah, I see it. Yep, I got it. Excellent. So, Angie, you're going to need to watch that. Um, instructional video, I can probably pop it in a message because I had a message from you in Facebook. So I'll just pop you that link to the YouTube and just watch that and giving, give me your circumference and then I'll convert it to diameter and then Tim will know how to turn your ends. I'm liking this syringe thing. I feel like a doctor. We were, but I had a big demand for them. So two or three people said, I want to be on the uh, the mailing list and the pre the waiting list, the pre-order list. I'm like, uh, hey, can we? And so Tim and I, one night when he was working late, we made a, a double batch. So we have them now. Hey, do I look like a doctor with this syringe? Yes, you look so important. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. And Mia, there's no set pen tip. You know, you can't call, you know, you don't, one turn of my use a different term for their tips yep. as opposed to what Tim uses. So, you know, that tip could be any number of things. It's not, there's no hard and fast. Um, yeah, that's it looks like the rounded pointy, but you know, that's different people don't, most people don't name them. We just named them. So it would make, we're screwy that way. So we could keep track and I knew what style and he knew what style. The person wanted that's why we named them mm -hmm. but it just i mean that might feel i like if i have to have a rounded pointy i need an indentation or i just need an indentation anyway a slight indentation to lay my fingers too but that's just me but with the rounded with the baseball bat they usually do that because you have to have some sort of indentation it can't be straight up and down but that looks like rounded pointy i don't think that's one of our pens I don't think that's one of our pens. So if it's Mia's oh, pen no, 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 she no. put in there, it's definitely not ours. Yeah, that oh, okay. Yeah, Mia Melanie's hasn't ordered one of your pens yet. Okay. Yep. 
she said we rounded pointy. It, it looks like rounded pointy, but it's different than our rounded pointy. So Mia, go to our you know instructional videos and watch the end tip designs and see what best is good. If you're a hard presser, I've had a few people who have been hard pressers and changed their tips and they they press so hard that the tip has gone deeper and deeper. And then when they go to take the tip out, it breaks off. And they'll but people will ask to, hey, can you repair it? Yes, we can repair it, but that can't be glued back. Believe me, Tim tried it once and he jerry-rigged this whole thing. It looked like when you were in school and doing the plant with the with the potato and that needless and to say it didn't work it didn't work so <laughs> once tried. the tip is broken off in half or something like that it's not fixable yeah. so and that's just somebody hard pressing on their current tip that got, they put in right away or came with it and then yeah if you're a, if you're a side presser the in, the chance of you breaking off a pointy tip gets higher and higher the more you use it because you're doing a lot of sideward pressure on it. That's all. I mean, it's just physics. And that rounded pointy, I had a herringbone design pen, which I don't know if I have one in here that I can pull out real quick. I don't think so. But around, it was a herringbone. And I went to take the tip out because I put it on the thicker end instead of a thinner end where someone would hold it. And it broke. So it was just in there so tight and I did it very loosely, not a lot of pressure and it just popped off and it broke just like most of the pens I see. Hey, my tip broke off. And hey, do me a favor. So it, it's pick fine. These up, babe. It was a, what? Pick those up and I put them on this thing. paper here. I'm not touching that. Paper, I have to change out what I use. Soft waxes do not work because I will end up having more issues and you know. you change what's in your pen tip, that can help too. Yeah. And, and, Especially with your hard Amelia says she wants a Tiffany blank, but I have two blanks from Cocoon waiting to be turned. Cool. Well, yes, I haven't gotten... You can still do that and purchase the breakfast of Tiffany's and then we just do all that. I will. We'll be, just throw them in the pile when we're doing your other yes, ones. Yes, I'm going through all those all the cocoon blanks that I have so far. And Jesse is, I just did my order and got paid from a few that I ordered. Um, and I hope they're here in time for the first pen drop. If not, it'll be the next week's pen drop um, because I posted a picture in general about it, but I'm going to go through the orders that are there that I've received. And if you, you should have received a message from Jesse yeah, at cocoon. Relax, relax. You should have gotten the message from cocoon. Um, that it was, here's your blanks, and it was shipped to Leopard Leatherworks with a tracking number. So that's, she's really good about doing that. Oh, okay. That's fine. <laughs> no, the pain. Don't worry. <laughs> hey, I feel you. How long do you, um, if I order a, a blank or a pen, how long does it take for it to be turned? It just depends on the... So the question is, if nobody's in line right away, but right now there's about... How many pens does Denise have there? I don't know. Denise, Berta, and Caroline have a crowd there. So it might be... I might not be caught up if nobody orders from here on out, which is an impossibility. Um, I'll be caught up in about a month. Especially once Pegasus comes out, yeah, might get more slam. Gotta tell you, we do that tonight. The all four will sell. I mean, it's just or all ten or whatever we make. Yep, it was just the way how fast it goes. Well, that's typical. If you order a, a a pen from any Turner, usually it's four to six weeks anyway. Yeah, we used to be faster, but we were, but now we're a little inundated. We were faster. We used to do it within a <laughs> we week. We were. That, we were. That's that past tense verb. Were, but I have a box. Nobody knew about you. Well, yeah. Well, that is, I mean, that's true. Sin. Seven people did. <laughs> yep, yep. I mean, there's a few, but it's becoming more and more. And, you know, yeah. And then you have to go on a business trip, and all of a sudden you have 35 pens behind. Isn't that the truth? So, how many is that? And I have 13 more in that box. Yeah, there's probably 75 there. Yeah. 
I might be 120 pins behind. But but Mia, we let you know where you're at. And the thing is, and I hate to say this because it sounds like I'm hustling people, but you want to get in line. Because if you wait yes, four I months. Was thinking, I was sitting here thinking, hmm, when are you going to Germany? You know? Yeah, within the next 60 days. But you know what? If I were coming to Germany, here's the problem with bringing stuff across the border into another country is I'm sort of circumventing their import laws. Especially if it's not a solid gift. And man, I don't I don't need to jeopardize anything like that. Um, so we'd probably have to use the regular way, which I sadly is more expensive, but keeps me out of jeopardy. Hold on. Is this the keeps your business as, afloat. Yeah, as much as I want to get them to you as cheap as I possibly can. Now, Catherine, Catherine was talking about some method she uses where she's in Colombia and and again yeah, yeah they got that little service there so there's probably going to be some kind of shipper service they may get them to you cheaper and probably even a little quicker maybe i don't know i'd have to look into it yeah know. yeah talk to Catherine next time she comes on she's got company right now but if you talk to Catherine, i'm sure she can give you a, all of the information uh yeah, just real quick you. before i give up the microphone um denise said tim my dad would would say you are now on the map and then tala yeah. gilbert says hey neighbors hello tala hey tala tala lives acro like across the main drag from us three quarters of a mile away in another neighborhood <laughs> um i d amelia um this is your order from cocoon i'll be contacting down you what down here yeah okay the camera's pointing down oh okay so is this supposed to be a bottle stopper or do you want a can what, what do we call that can oh, or do you want a palm placer or do you want a palm placer palm placer palm okay. placer cool okay so um i will message you in facebook and just tell you where which ones to circle and go to the turning service and then you'll just pay for that and then You'll get in, in line. That'll that'll be cooler to turn for me because I've not done a palm placer yet, but all it is is a bottle stopper with a skinnier end down in the bottom mm -hmm. where the 730 seconds thing yep. goes in. So I will be getting in touch with everybody that is in this box <laughs> tomorrow. We just opened it. Well, I opened it. Um, okay, you're moving again. my things around underneath that thing there. There you go. You don't want to. Okay. That's just a dust cover. Keep that's keep fine. the dust off them. That's like a fun box. It is a fun box. There's some beautiful things in here. Your mic went off. So What's that? Did you put your mic, mic down, Liz? Oh, you had it in her hand. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine orders in here. So. Mia, to answer your question, it's best to order if you can, and then just get. We'll just do it. In yeah, order and I and I don't mean to say get in line by being obnoxious or or braggadocious or anything like that. Just the reality is, if you want it earlier, then you know, if you want to get into the concert, you got to get there early, kind of thing. Yeah, buy your ticket. That sounds so terrible every time I say it. It okay. sounds terrible every so, time I say that. Cassie, in general, if you're on Discord, you can go look at all her beautiful pens, and they're all from Leopard Leatherworks. A couple of the blanks. There's only one that's not a baseball bat in. I should have corrected that. That's okay. There's always tomorrow. And there are a couple that had pine cones that she got off of Etsy, and that was the first time I worked with that Turner, and it was gorgeous. Jacob Janssen. Yeah, I need to reach out to him. They're beautiful. Yes. Yeah. To show, yeah, but they came out gorgeous, they were gorgeous. She had a I thought that the only ones who did the, the uh, cones were uh, the people of us. Excuse me, oh, I'd imagine quite a few people do them. It's a common thing in regular ink pens, mm -hmm. and they put co people have put coffee beans in there, um, gumballs. Been stained them. I mean, if you go to Cocoon Blanks and join their group on Facebook, or you can go to cocoonblanks.com, take a look at some of the blanks they have out there. 
because they ship directly to us. We are authorized with them. Mm -hmm. And I talk to Jesse almost every other day. Yeah, that's interesting. That's cool. Well, I'm going to turn the mic over to Tim and Lee and get back to doing what I do, which is hosting Breakfast at Tiffany's and Crabs. Let me get the headphones on. Power on. Wanda says she has a palm placer and loves it. Joe Atwood, or Joe, as we all call her, what blanks can can you turn into a palm placer? I was putting leftovers away and missed stuff. So the palm placers need to pretty much be done with a bottle stopper blank. And that's something like, I'll, I'll show you the difference between the two. I would say that's about on average twice the size of a pen blank. Yeah. So, oh, let me go over here where the camera is. This is a regular cocoon blank. And this is a bottle stopper blank. The cocoon sells these as well. It's one and a half inches by one and a half inches and some length. Like this one here. If I cut it in half, I could get two palm placers. But if I cut it in three sections, two inches each, I'll get three bottle stoppers out. So that's, that came from uh, wood, Woodcraft. But that's the normal size of a blank that you get from the cocoon, which is probably, let's see exactly what it is. It is, oh, 13 sixteenths, a little over three quarters of an inch. The ones that we do, are an inch thick that way and usually supposed to be an inch thick that way but that's an inch and a quarter there so we really want them to be one by one if we're going to do a fat pen um can't do a tremendously fat pen with a cocoon blank you could do a decent you could probably all the way up to 0 0.7473 uh, finger grip uh, but on the bottle stopper blank you can make it you know up to an inch and a, inch and a quarter probably so there's that. Hopefully that helps. Okay, we're going to make this square thing round with Tim's newly sharpening. He wasn't still playing sharpening this, this morning. I think I like my sharpening. So hopefully that helps the question answering palm placers, thickness of blanks, and start with it. Sure there's more, but and again I'm only a pseudo expert in space. I don't know everything. I just know what I've experienced here in the last year. I am going to be working on a Philadelphia Eagles pen in Berta. When you see this, I know you're going to want a Seahawks pen. It is cool. It's going to be an ink pen. And there's a <laughs> there's a fellow there's a fellow who will so there's this this method of putting a label around the brass tube inside an ink pen and then putting that inside clear resin and there's a guy down there that does it a whole lot better than I will so I didn't want to attempt it yet um, he's making I got a buddy back in uh, Bentonville that's a Philadelphia Eagles fan. He wants this Philadelphia Eagles pen. So I bought the pen kit from Penn State, got it here, then I shipped it to him so he had everything in the kit. He only does the tubes, but I wanted him to have everything so he knew how it was oriented when the pen comes back together. He'll send it up to me. 
I'll turn it, polish it, and put the pen together. It's going to be bonkers awesome. Okay, this is a Shea by the Sea pen. Baseball bat ends, 0.5 finger. Here we go. Okay, sorry about that. I'm back. It's all right, man. Welcome back. Oh, and I told you that Tim found where the pencil sharpener is. Okay. I don't think a day goes by that we don't talk about that pen and pencil set, by the way, just so that you know. <laughs> well, I'm glad she appreciates it. I know I appreciate the song. She absolutely loves it. That's good. That's a nice set. Came out real well. Yeah, it did. Came out extremely well. <laughs> the color is glorious, she says. It's purple, baby. It's purple. It's purple, baby. It's purple. It's a beautiful purple. I'm going to get you a microphone. Joe says, yes, it helped him. Thank you. Oh, the explaining the, the the explanation, yeah. Oh, one of my favorite one of my favorite Star Trek episodes. Which one? The one with the rock creature. Oh yeah. That was just done the other day on another channel, too. You know what, Lee? I haven't seen. Oh, it's gotta have been six, seven years. For no other reason other than just busy up on the radar, yeah. Oh. But uh, no, I watch it. I'm H and I TV has them on six nights a week. H and I, yeah, Heroes and Icons. It's the station. Like on cable channels. And stuff? On cable channel, yeah. It um, well, actually, you can get it on antenna. Oh, that's um, cool. But. Um, they have, they have the whole rundown. Star Trek, Star Trek: The Next Generation, Star Trek: Deep Space Nine, Star Trek: Voyager, and then Enterprise, all one right back, after the other, six nights a week. Back in the eighties, we were raising kids. This had been the late eighties, so Kevin was just about being born or was born or something like that. I forget what it was, but um, Star Trek: The Next Generation was a thing on Saturday nights. So we watched Cops, Star Trek, The Next Generation, religiously, every Saturday night. Yep. Got, got to have been four or five years. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, pretty much. Uh, but it was, it's on a station yeah, here in the States. It's on a station here in the States, Mia, called uh, Heroes and Icons. We're pretty regular folks around here, Mia. Remember, I've only seen Star Trek, the original series, in reruns. Mm -hmm. I've never seen it original on TV, even though I was alive when it was on. My mom and dad were not watchers. Yeah, they were not watchers. I mean, I was, what, five to eight or five to nine when it was you know, on mm -hmm. TV? Well, that's like me. I was the same way. I mean, I wasn't to, to watch it on the original to watch it live, I was too way too young. And even if I oh, did yeah. watch it, I wouldn't remember it. Cause I yeah, was me either. like yeah, you, me. I was like, you know, six, Little. seven, eight years old. Yeah. What? Yep. Sure. You know, it's interesting is the original series 
although serious in some parts, is very, you know, very, very almost not serious, even though they were serious. It just sort of came across funny like that. Then Star Trek The Next Generation came out with Patrick Stewart and the whole gang, and they were dead serious about space exploration and dealing with the Borg and you know going where no man went before, blah, blah, blah. And then Deep Space Nine was a shoot off of that. Deep Space Nine was freaking awesome. Same Star Trek, totally different world or totally different kind of thing going on. That's a good one. I'm telling you. Yeah, Voyager's good too. Voyager took a chance. They really got away from the original and said, here's what we're going to do. And, and it, it didn't come to great acclaim. Kate uh, wasn't the best captain, although I thought she was awesome. You know, and everybody's got their opinion. Who's that? Oh. Why don't you like that? Apparently, they did their job well. Yep. But I'm, but I'm just saying, they did a good job because the, she was an unlikable character. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the narcissistic witch. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, they... But I do like what they did with her in the end. <laughs> which which fulfilled it all, right? Yeah, Kai Win. Yeah. Oof. Bye bye, bye bonds. That's right. Bye bye, bye bonds. <laughs> I knew you'd get Support. that. Support the effort. I knew you'd get that. Yeah, support the effort. Let's see how we're doing. 0. 0.5. 0. 0.56. 0. 0.52. Oh, man. Oh, NC Mom Life put a couple of comments in Discord that I did not see. So she said, uh, I want the dragon one so bad. I have the reverse colored one, which is, they were talking about your pens that uh, Luna posted in general just to show off the different kinds of turns. Um, What's the dragon pen? Is that that red and, red and yellow? Or yellow and red? Yeah, right. Well, the one she pictured was the red with the yellow dragon, and Mom Life probably has it the other way around. Um, well, I, I found... Yellow field red dragon. Still available. She said she ordered the lunar... Uh, Mom Life ordered the New Year pen and the spangler dragon pen said they're supposed to be here tomorrow i can't wait i'm so excited Woo! i love when people they get so excited i get so excited let's measure these finger holes Point five three, point five two. So close to point five zero. Point five two. Almost. I'll get it to point five one, and then Sandy will take off. Point, yep, point five one. This one down here is all the way to point five two. 
a little shave off of it. Trying to clean up the uh, fingers. Uh, where am I? There I am. Hello, Emma Handy. Hello, Emma. Uh, Tala says, purple is my favorite color as well. Wanda said purple is the best. We got a lot of purple lovers on this channel. We do. That's good. I love Including I love the Turner himself. Right. I love purple before Donnie Osmond loved purple. <laughs> Ugly. Oh, please. She thinks we're, she thinks we're re rooting for Baltimore. It's Probably not a Berta thing, so it's ugly. <laughs> you do realize you started something with that now, Berta, right? <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> yeah. Up, oh, Stacy says, "See you all later. Evening stuff time here." Bye, Stacy. Bye, Stacy. Night, John boy. <laughs> What's that? Ah. Yeah, I was going to say, how the hell did Star Wars get wrapped up in Star Trek? Sheesh. It, sh it shouldn't. Yeah, in front of Darth Vader. Live long and prosper. Well, it's a good wish. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Now, the best thing Will Wheat never did was tabletop games. I know. Have you seen that on YouTube? It's awesome. Cinnamon. Yeah. Do you remember the Saturday Night Live skit when... William Shatner went to a Star Trek convention. It was sort of a joke. And he was like, you people need to get a life. <laughs> that created so much controversy because so many people thought he was serious about it. Right. Yeah. Well, you know, in, in, in great humor, there is a bit of truth. Yes. <laughs> that's why it was good. And that's why it created controversy because it was true. So we point, go ahead. So do you know do you know the the American show out of NBC in New York called Saturday Night Live? Okay. So William Shatner was on there years ago and you can google YouTube this particular episode. And one of the one of the skits they had was William Shatner showing up as William Shatner, you know, the Captain Kirk guy at a Star Trek convention. And he started giving this talk, and I forget what provoked it because it's been so long since I've seen it, but he, uh, he started yelling at everybody, all the Trekkies, that they need to get a life and move on and all this kind of stuff. And like Lee said, it created such a controversy because everybody thought that he was serious. But it was just a comedic, it was a comedic skit. Now, everybody eventually got over it and stuff like that. And William Shatner still goes to all the convention. And he's like a thousand years old now. Yeah, but, really. you know, 
Yeah, he's he's up there. He's in his 90s. He's doing great, yep. doing fantastic, still supports the Star Trek franchise that's been over for literally 50 something years. Um, but it was just it was yeah, well, you know, we all get grow older and get wisdom, but check out that just go to YouTube and type William Shatner um Saturday Night Live and it'll pop up and it was it was a riot. It was so funny. <clears throat> Wanda going back to the purple comments. Wanda said, "Guess Tim needs to a lot of purple blanks." I have a few. Yes, he does. He has quite a few. Right. Hell, our eight hundred member blank was purple. Yeah, the eight hundred member blank was purple, but um, not chosen by me. That was chosen. One by of the, the other. One of the other blanks you did for an event, I believe, has quite a bit of purple in it. Yeah, I think that uh, Majesty and Magic's got some yeah. purple and blues and stuff like that. In it. But there are quite a few blanks that have purples in them. <laughs> yeah. Yes. But yeah, we all did. That was one of our that was one of our member chosen pens was the eight hundred yeah. member pen. That's right. So not only did I particularly like that blank, but they chose it. I had no influence. You only need Five more for four hundred, and then so it's on YouTube. One hundred and five you need for five hundred. Cool. I had to do the math slowly <laughs> <I had> to <laughs> bring it up to four hundred first thing, and then yeah, we're, hundred. <laughs> we're uh, we're in no hurry, Lee. You can do it slowly. We're not going anywhere for a minute. That'd be fabulous. There's lots of people that don't know us. I mean, what the... We appreciate that. And most likely, I'll be there, too, so... <laughs> yep. Guaranteed. I try to be, me. I try to be. If I see you go on and I'm sitting around, I'll watch it. Yep. If you're live. Oh. Oh, man. never mind. Never Got mind. me off guard. Yeah, I was thinking. I was thinking live. I'm sorry. Your whipping chats. I go. You, your whipping chats. I look at though. Yeah, I popped into your live today before I went live. I'm like, oh, Mia's live. Well, maybe she'll pop over when she's done. That'll be fun. Yep. I know you're here. You are, and again, <laughs> and you're back. How do you like that? He didn't even scare you away. <laughs> That's right. Not yet. Oh, yeah. There's always tomorrow, though. <laughs> Halfway there. Well, I don't know if it's you that would scare them away or me. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Combined <laughs> effort. <laughs> oh, my Sarah, God. What, Sarah, what? I'm not sure, but. Yeah. It's a oh, pair my of God. Something. It's Laurel and Hardy. Maybe a parakeet. It could be Abbott and Costello because he's the tall guy and I'm the short fat guy. So that might work. Yeah, well, that's the same thing with um, Laurel and Hardy. There you go. Yeah, I could be Hardy, but my name's not Hardy. It's Except Costello. for I'm not skinny, so. Well, you're tall. I didn't say skinny. I said tall. <laughs> but you're right. Abbott and Costello is better. There you go. That's the spirit. <laughs> uh, who scares Solo you, effort. Wanda? Who scares you, Wanda? I miss that. Well, you know, you are who you are. Well, then it scares them away. I don't know if That's Wanda more means about you them or... than it is about you. I don't know Woo! if Wanda means you or me. She said, man, we haven't me. seen one of these in a while. Look at this. Oh, man. Wow. We've not seen one of these in a bit. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I think she means Tim, but it could be me, too. Because we were talking about Tim <laughs> scaring scaring you away. Yeah, that, that, I believe, was a Shea by the Sea. It is a Shea by the Sea. And every one of those come out just phenomenal. Everyone different. Believe. So Go phenomenal. Ahead. Yep. I can't believe how quickly... They sold. Yeah, they just they blew out. We had to. I think we did eight molds, eight more, eight molds of them. 
yeah. what was scary to, to Wanda? Uh, we were, uh, when we were talking about you scaring Mia away. Oh, yeah. But I didn't scare her away. That's the key. No. Not yet. There's, there's always tomorrow. But Wanda <laughs> says that's gorgeous, and so does Joe. Yeah, you, I, but yeah, we I, know that. Yeah. <laughs> you know? These shade by the seas. I mean, Joe saw the very first one. Yep. Give it a shade. Sure it's video evidence. Nobody can deny it. You are a comedian, she says. <laughs> <laughs> on that one, I think she's talking about. On that one, I think she's talking about me. But I'm um, Where's that sound thing? But I'm. Um, there you go. <laughs> That's it. Well, that I had drummer to was it having his drink. The drummer was having a drink. Oh, it's my turn now. Let's go. Get back on stage. There you go. That was from the vaudeville days. Joe says, in person, I'll never forget. <laughs> Talking about the... So, Cindy, Cindy, are you here? So, did you grow up in Phoenix or live down there, or was that someone else? Was that uh, Marion? What year to what year? Uh, back in the 60s, and I don't know about the 70s, there was a TV show, local TV show, called Wallace and Ladmo. And I, I used to watch that as a kid, and they came to my dad's gas station on Bethany Home Road, probably about 68. Um, I think it was I think it was just east of Central. Yeah, we, we lived in Yeah, yeah, you're your way on the west side, yeah. We lived at uh, 12th, 12th and Butler way back in the day. I'd have to go Google that. Yeah. Yeah, that place is just blown up. And I left in 1970. So that's a long time ago. Yeah, so is my mom. Out there by the stadium in Sun City West. Ugh. Not really by the stadium. You have to drive to It's out that way. Yeah. Yeah, that place is just... Yep. Yeah, that that place has exploded. Yeah, they've exploded. This since I left, that place is totally different. And North Mountain Easter in a pen. There it is. Yep. North Mountain. Uh, was beautiful. Where do you see what it looks like when it's turned? North Mountain is was on the the most northern end of town. Yeah, yep, that was fun, wasn't it? Yeah, this is another member pen. I wanted to use beige. That's the one thing I chose. Everybody else chose color. Yeah. And Catherine put hers and and Catherine put hers two cents in saying blue is stupid. It is stupid now, it'll be stupid later. 
Yeah, it was dark. So what he because what he could do is he could pastel any color, and that's what he did. He pasteled the blue, made it a you know a nice light blue color. Yep. Yeah. Yep. yep. Good guidance. Yeah, you may be right. <laughs> all, all we know now, Mia, is it looks freaking awesome. <laughs> he was, he was putting the bushings into the blank, Wanda. <laughs> What's that? Wanda said, almost knocked my tray full of drills on the floor. <laughs> Heard a noise, and it was Tim tapping on something, tapping or something. <laughs> that was me knocking my head against the wall. <laughs> Feel that hard hit? Boom, boom, boom. Uh, yeah, he was putting bushings in the end, so he had something for the lathe to hold on to. Okay, let's see what we're doing. I forgot what the was the design for this the mustache, yeah mustache. Yeah, you like that. You didn't seven. say so I couldn't even tell you. Yeah, point four seven and baseball ends and then mustache. Hey, we're back to baseball ends. Well, we were with that shade by the sea as well. Yep. Well, that's the standard for the shade by the sea, anyway. Somebody wanted me to cut it, shorten it, and all that kind of stuff. I said, not. I'll do it to a lot of them, but not shade by the sea. Wanda says, so that's, so that's what it was. Don't hurt your head. You can't make pens that way. <laughs> yep. It doesn't leave too many dents, though. That's the thing. Yeah, that's how we bang. Yeah, but didn't you know that's how he bangs the the pieces in? He bangs them up against his head so that they, you know, so the bushings go in right. I know that sounds funny, Lee, but man, that would hurt. Yeah, it would. <laughs> Jeez, that would hurt. They're a little pointy for banging against my head. Yep. <laughs> oh, man. That would hurt a lot. I don't care how hard headed you were, you'd still get little blood spots all over the place. Oh, I believe immediately. Puncture a hole in my head. Oh, shit. Shoot. Sorry. I just put a quarter in the jar. Yeah, exactly. Now I know where that comes from. <laughs> Swear jar. Yep. For the longest time, stuff. I didn't know that term. I used to just stuff a ten dollar bill in there and go for it. Yeah. Somebody a long time ago. I mean, of course, I say a long time ago. From to me, twenty five was a long time ago. Somebody would say, "Okay, put it in the jar," and I'm like, "What the oh. heck are you?" Uh oh. Nah, these are I said, still, I said, what the heck are you talking proud. about? Put it in a jar. I'm 25 years old, you never heard of a swear jar? I said, nope. What are we looking at? I'm not sure yet. I'm a little afraid right now. Oh, it's something she knitted. Let's go check it. Go check. Oh, yeah, that is kind of neat. General beige, dude. That looks like looks like yeah, it looks like Easter in a pen. You need some green. Yep, but you're there. Who's the Who's the picture? If Melanie, you look in general, you, if you look in general, uh, Cindy and, and Discord. Uh, 
Same here since I'm a senior. Well, I'm a senior too. So <laughs> I'm a Toys R Us kid. Yeah. Well, that's that goes along grow. with goes on with along with what I used to say. I may grow older, but I'll never grow up. All right, let's see how far we're getting down here. Let's see, we're talking about a 0.5 right there and a 0.5 right there. Okay, a little bit more to go. We'll get down to about a 0.4, what is it, 0.47. We'll get down to a 0.48. Finishing. Yep. It's no fun growing up. It means you got to adult more. Sheesh. Yeah. Else. Adulting is for grown-ups. Ah, I keep going back to the wrong one, damn it. I think I'm going to start leaving my microphone off. <laughs> what? I keep talking to myself. I keep talking to myself, and that's where my problems come in. Oh. Well, you know, you've been conscious. What did he say? Play a little with your coach's beat. Well, he's, he's still got a half hour, Kevin. Kevin said, why do you go live every time before my shift ends? I got stuff to do, baby. I can't sit around and watch TV and eat bonbons. Oops, you mistyped shift. <laughs> he corrected it, though. Yeah, he's got work to do. You know, He's got a business to support. <laughs> Mom. Yeah, as long as you don't answer yourself. <laughs> well, the problem is with that one is a lot of times I'll answer myself and the questions make more sense than the answers do. Or it's wrong. Yep. Anywhere near you. It is true. You're talking to me. He talks to the other one. You're never alone. Well, that's okay because Berta has the poor dog. She can say the same thing. That's right. My problem is I have two cats. They're both emotional support cats for my wife, and they hang around with my wife. <laughs> So when I talk, when I talk, I don't talk to the cats. I talk to me. <laughs> how do they train? How do they train cats to be supportive? Yeah, actually, no. It's it's not. It's a big, big difference. How do they train? Well, no, a support animal is a support animal is not a trained animal. Oh, oh, oh. A, I was uh, say, I've never heard that one. Yeah. I don't imagine a cat. Well, I mean, they're not technically a service animal is supposed to help you. Oh, yeah, we've had that one. I had somebody bring a raccoon in my store, and I'm like, hey, get that out of here. It's my support animal. I said, no, it's not. You can't say that. The ADA says you can't say that. Great. Bring up a complaint. Let's see who wins. Raccoon. No, it was in a shopping cart. I'm like, get that filthy animal out of my shopping cart. 
our customers use those for their food. Yep, when I was at a store manager at Walmart. So the, the store manager, store manager is, hang on, hang on, we can't actually. The store, they're just afraid. The store manager is, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yep. The, the store manager in a Walmart is the only person in Walmart that is allowed to ask somebody about the animal that they bring in. And the question they're allowed to ask is, does that animal support you or help you with a physical disability? And if the answer is yes, the questioning has stopped, the animal may proceed. No matter how they're marked, there's, there's no official marking for a service animal, nothing like that. But if the answer is no, or they refuse to answer, or they say it's an emotional support animal, well, that's not allowed to be in the store. That's not covered under ADA. Can't have it in the store. And they have to leave the store. Nope. They used to, to, but not anything. anymore. Well, the manager has to have the guts to do it. Most people won't touch it because they're afraid of ADA. But I studied it. People bringing in, you know, people had their, their Pekingese in the shopping cart. I'm like, number one. If you have if if you have a support animal in a shopping cart, by the way, I'm not sure how a support animal is helping you when they're sitting in the cart. But if, if an animal is in the cart, it must have a barrier between it and the cart. So you got to bring a blanket or whatever. Now, in that it's in the cart, likely is not helping you with some physical disability. So that is not allowed. It's not supported by the ADA, you know, but people stretch it like that. People bringing that freaking raccoon in my store. I'm like, are you out of your mind? It's a wild animal. <laughs> I appreciate that you love animals. Then it wasn't a support animal. It wasn't trained. It wasn't a service animal. Yeah. yeah. Service animals, a, a well trained service animal is a very, very well trained, functional, and sufficient dog. They don't sniff things. They don't bother people. You don't talk to them. They don't talk to you. They are there helping that person who's blind, deaf, whatever, get along in the store. In public, that's it. Not not a raccoon, not a cat, not a Pekingese in a shopping basket. I mean, come on. It's my emotional support animal. I appreciate that that's your emotional support animal, and I hope that you have a fabulous day despite Tom Bates. That animal needs to leave the store. Well, I'm going to call. I said, you may call. Here's the phone number. I got 1-800-WALMART here on my phone. I'll, I'll dial the number for you. Oh, never mind. Oh, okay. Don't screw with me, man. I did my research. But most store managers will not want to broach that subject. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. That is not support or service animal. It may be a support animal, and I appreciate that. And I don't make light of anybody's emotional condition, because here I'm the hypnotherapist that completely deals with that kind of thing. 
So I'm not here to make fun of anybody, but reality is. Yep. Yep, absolutely. Correct. Correct. Yeah. And I understand. In some states, uh, what you got to watch out for, though, is there's also psychiatric service dogs. It's Never not. A, one yeah, it's it's called a psychiatric service dog, according to the according to the ESA. Um, at least here in Florida, what, this is why ESA? I'm saying you got to watch out for the state. Uh, huh? What's ESA? ESA is emotional support animals. Ah, uh, is that an act? Uh, yeah, I'm tr I, I'm trying to find the rest of it now. Um. I mean, I'm not in Florida, so it doesn't matter to me, and I'm not in that position anymore. Oh, I know. I'm just, I'm just trying to, to do a deeper dive of it, so, so I can I get what I was gonna too. say, what I was gonna say, right? Uh, because there now, are. Now I have had, I have had some people go, "Well, it's too hot outside for my dog to stay in the car." I understand. Right. Please take your dog home. Come back. But you in, uh, in the state of Florida, in the state of Florida, they, they have given the right to refute the the right to accept it in right. uh in certain establishments uh outside of like restaurants and whatnot the the shop manager or owner can say okay it's an emotional support animal as long as you leave it in your cart or as long as you leave it close to you you're all set yep. but they don't but it's not federally mandated that they have to they right. can refuse oh, if man, you this Look at this. Oh. Woo. But what I gotta what I'm trying to find is this um under under ADA, the uh, psychiatric service dogs. Because I you know, like I've, you, I've, I've never heard of that it. game. Yeah, I've been out of that game for seven years now. Look at this thing here. Woo. That is pretty. Look at yeah, the swirly it? on this side. That's true. You know, it's funny, as as much of a pastel as you put on that, you know, the dark blue, there's still a little bit of darker blue that shows up, which actually accentuates the pen, I think. You know, Lee, I, I think it was still a bit of a darker blue, even though we pastel, you know. Right. So it, it wasn't it wasn't totally, you know, blown out. Oh, Kevin, Kevin says maybe I, maybe I will forget to pay your rent. I'm sweating it pretty hard. Yeah, probably might that, not be able to pay the electric bill this month. That's when no, that's when you look at him and say, "I might forget that I that I changed the locks on you." <laughs> <laughs> well, unfortunately, with Kevin, you can't do that. Oh, I know, but you know, I, you hey, you can you can at I, least try. I know. Yeah. I wouldn't do that to Kevin. He he might actually he might actually think I'm serious. Oh pff. with his autism, he might. He's like, oh, you're gonna lock me out. Yeah, that's never a good thing. Yeah, so I gotta be careful. Kevin is a sweet I appreciate that, Mia. I probably All right, Mia. Have a good night, sleep. We'll see you next time. Yes, ma'am. No, me is uh, Kevin's a hot shit. I actually like Kevin. <laughs> I think he's funny. Oh, there you go, Ray. The other quarter in the jar. <sighs> I'm 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 gonna sew my mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> no, we want to hear the no, Lee. We want to hear the other stuff. I'm trying, dang it. <laughs> You're doing good. You're doing good. You only have 50 cents today. We'll take it out of your paycheck. Yeah, there you go. I apologize nonetheless. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Who snuck in? <laughs> hey, Tammy's back. Hello, Tammy. How you feeling? 
How are you feeling? That's good. That's good. There it is. There you go, Tammy. You can do an all over this one. The East, the Easter in a pen set. It's beautiful. Who named that again? Who named that again? Was that uh, John? Melanie. Yeah. Jonna Woods did it. I mean, Jonna, excuse me. Yeah. That's pretty cool. No, you can't have that pen. No, no, no. Well, this, I don't this, isn't, care. Jonna, this isn't Jonna's pen, but she named the pen. I'm already unhappy that you tried to stay up on Shay's live when you said you were going to bed. Hey, guess who's up next? Guess who's up next? Hey, Jonna. Speaking of Jonna. Who's up next? No, I just said, speaking of Jonna, it is Jonna. Hey, Jonna. We're just talking about you and naming the pen, Easter in a pen. No, you are not Stole stealing her pen. It's not her pen. John already got her pen. That was that was uh, Abigail's pen. Yeah, so you have to change your name to Abigail. Did, John, changing it to John, it didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. She got you on that one, Tammy. She got you. Let's see. Are we on the right thing? No, we're not. Let me. I haven't started yet, so we're not too late. Jada does say that she loves her Easter in a pen. Ah, beautiful. You should. You named it. It's awesome. Oh, Joe wants to know if this is hers. Yes, ma'am, it's yours. He's banging his head again, Wanda says. <laughs> and she's talking she's talking about this pen that he's turning now. Uh Tammy. The pen that he's turning now is Joe's. We appreciate your effort. It's it's a rainbow snow cone. There you go. Lee, do you remember when we were kids? And this would be back in the 60s. And I'm not sure how it was in your neighborhood, but when I went to the local Little League baseball game, they always had that hot sort of soda scenes, hot dogs, and yep. snow cones, and all that kind of stuff. Yep. And you could, you could order a suicide. And the suicide was all the flavors on the don't know if they had that. They had that in Phoenix when I was a kid. Uh, we I'd just like called them rainbows. Suicide. Yeah, I'd like to get a suicide, please. It's all the one squirt of all the flavors. Yeah, so we, sour. Yeah, so we call sour. them rainbows. Ooh, that's sweet. But yeah, you know, Joe, really it like, is yours. I'm really liking my sharpening. I think, it's sweet. <laughs> I, think I do a better job than he did. Well, scared. there you go. I was scared of that. Oh, crap. Scared. Not only not only that, but you don't have to worry about well, I'll wait till next week, you know. Right. And this knife here, this this uh they they call it a uh what do they call it again? It is a gouge. spindle spindle gouge. This is $129. So to screw one of these up is pretty serious. So I was scared yep. to death. Like, oh man, I screwed up. Okay, Joe, now we gotta be Joe. remembers the suicide. Yeah, yeah, there you go, Joe. See the suicide. I think suicide. Okay, 0.55 Everest pen. Here we go. It's gonna be the handlebar design. 
Oh, here it goes. Excuse me. Damn it. Never has been. When I say excuse me, though, it's excuse my actions, not necessarily me, because I don't have an excuse. Hello, Sarah Ann. Hello, but I Sarah. like it that way. I like not having an excuse. Yeah, really. You know. Yep. Point six. I'm down there. There is no excuse for you to do that. Yes, there is. I don't have an excuse. <laughs> there is oh, no, no excuse. you don't. There is no excuse, but there is a great reason. <laughs> there you go. No, you might try to, but you don't get away with everything. She does pretty good, apparently. Well, she's a legend in her own mind. We can say that. Absolutely. The only part of me that's smooth is the inside of my skull because what's left in my what's left in, in that vacancy was scraped around. Can you just hear the last four or five cells banging around in there? Yep, there you go. I'll be right back. This is quite the artistic piece. Let's see. Now we're going to do the handlebar. Let's find the center. Excuse me. Okay, I'm coming back. But what 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 makes me fun to pick on though is the fact that I am not the sharpest crayon in the bunch. So when when people make comments, it sometimes it takes me a minute to think of a comeback, and then by then the moment's gone. So it's like, oh shit, <laughs> there I go again. <clears throat> Uh, 
I'm gonna put I'm gonna put my I'm gonna put myself in timeout one of these sessions. Huh? No, I really gotta concentrate harder. Like when you came home from boot camp and said pass the yuck and butter you know? Yeah. Yeah, well, you know. Because that was the Navy talk. Yeah, but this is a business, remember. You know? <laughs> well, I wouldn't go that far, but thank you, Tammy. <laughs> and you're right, Wanda. By the night, so by the time the night's over, I'll probably be broke. Don't worry, we have payroll deduction. Ah, there you go. Yeah, she'll probably throw a listing up there for everybody that wants that particular pen. You know, have to have a powwow with me to figure out exactly what it is. It sounds like, it sounds like we're pretty there, though, you know? Yeah. Excuse me. All right, let me get his itch. That is the handlebar. Oh. Well, Kevin says, why are you still alive? You need to leave now. What time is it? Well, he's got to go pick up. He's got to go pick up, Kevin. Then we'll be live again. Yep, and then he'll be live when he gets home. That's it. It's only going to be a few minutes, Kevin. He was just on his last pen. What time is it now? 7.57. Oh, yeah. I believe so. You know it. Yep. Oh, a few. Uh, Probably few. less than that. I know. I mean, I mean, when I, when I, when I go live again, it'll be... I mean, I got to pick him up. It's a, it's a 12 minute over, 12 minute back. So it's not that much time. And it's not like we got to shut the Discord down or anything like that. I'll put the YouTube down because I don't have a bunch of dead space on YouTube. Or whatever. There you go. We're Where sure. is it? Can you, can you make this thing look like a lighthouse? I said, absolutely not. How would you do that? How would you do that? Oh, but I have the colors, right? I go, yeah, you have the colors. Well, I mean, we've got a nice little representation of the colors in the right spots on the big new kind of thing. So. It definitely is inspired, but it is not an exact copy, nor would I want to copy her artwork. Now, inspired by is close enough. Yeah. And yeah. She came up with the colors, and we took a few up and stuck them in a the pad. And I tried tried to put the, the green on the bottom, the red in the middle, and the blue up top, you know, like sunshine, surf, and lighthouse. Yeah. But the reality is, is... This stuff loves to move like it loves to move. And I can't stop it or control it. And I wouldn't want to. Yeah. No, that's the yeah. fun part of it. 
Yes, ma'am. Yep. And Luna, I'll message you in in Discord. You just have to leave you your guys, Discord open. You guys can stay in Discord. I mean, there's there's nothing saying you got to leave Discord. Yeah, we just sit here and shoot the breeze and yeah, relax. Heck, and heck Mary and I, Mary and Mary and myself and Berta do it all the time. There you go. Yeah. So you mute. So you mute your microphone. At least you'll be able to listen to us. Oh, yeah, okay. Time is up. Time to leave now, he says. Yep. Push a few more carts, Kev. We'll be there in a minute. Yeah. They need your help. They love Kevin there. He never calls in. Yep. Well, that's the best way to be. I'm telling you. Yeah. Hard to find good employer, employees anymore, really. Everybody wants to play the system and do their points and you know, jerk around that kind of stuff. I, I had one guy who worked for me. He was not a great individual, but, you know, he was there and he played the system. Then his point drop off, he'd call. Bob was always on the edge. We had a talk with him one day. He got his points down to almost nothing. And then all of a sudden they exploded again. And I said, man, you're getting really close to the edge. I said, you're going to lose you. I can't afford to lose you. And then eventually, it came too long. And... Yeah. Sorry. Ooh, Joe, look at that sucker. That's on fire. That looks like a mythical bird right there. Phoenix. Yeah, it looks like a phoenix rising from the front. Too cool. That's too cool. Yeah. Yeah, they did. That's Joe's. That's Joe's pen. Move to Kentucky, Joe. Be careful, Joe. She's going to try and steal your pen. Yeah. We'll protect you. Should probably secret message Carrie overnight. Dear Carrie, Joe said that I could borrow her pen for a while. Actually, actually I you have a certificate. You don't need to. You don't Go need ahead. to talk to Joe. I, I, I'm good enough. You know, she just she cleared it for me. If you could. <laughs> Actually, I have a certificate from Homeland there, Kevin.
Uh, hey, I used, Kevin, I, Kevin go we're going to shop real quick. So get the good deals that are still good deals. Let's get some stuff. Diet Coke for mom, Coke Zero for me. And by the time I get there, I'll walk in with my wallet and pay real quick. Yeah, for uh, shit, it's been so long that, since I've done it. Um, I can't remember what the actual terminology was. So, but uh, you had to go through Homeland Security, get certified for disaster. Yeah. Start training? Yeah. Yeah, he, he works for the Homeland Grocery Store, not the Department of Homeland. Oh, that Homeland. <laughs> I've never heard of I've never heard of that that grocery store. So yeah, I always relate things to security. Yeah, there's the pen. It's Joe. All right. Yes, you did, Joe. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end the YouTube thing here because I don't want people to show up and nobody be here. So let me go over there. We will be back in just a short bit, everybody. Yeah, Joe, it's wow. It's gorgeous. Where do you see it in person? Let me throw the old outro video. We'll be back in probably 45 minutes. See you around.